What's up, lovers of whiskey and watches of YouTube? Today is a very, very special day because we are about to taste, for the very first time, the Art Bag Scorch. excited because I am excited yes uh, Q Artbeg fanboy comments down in the video below I am cool with that uh, that's especially you Welsh Toro I know you're going to do that but I am happy to accept that so we have with us the festival bottle actually it's not the festival bottle sorry it's the committee bottle of the fish aisle 2021 this is the Artbeg Scorch and what do we know about this? It is non eight statement, surprise, surprise. Uh, however, it's been matured in ex bourbon casks, which I like, and uh, bottled at 51.7%, which, oops, sorry, which also I like. And what's so different about this whiskey, you ask? Well, it's been matured in super highly like mm, the unbelievably fiercely charred it says fiercely charred casks that means that means when they got these um, ex bourbon casks they just charred the living shit out of them and what does that do to the whiskey well it, it imparts a far more intense flavor and they've done this experiment once before uh, with the art bag alligator and that was their selling point as well and the reason they called it the art bag alligator is because the inside of the casks because they were charred so much resembled the back of an alligator and so they've done the same thing now with the scorch are they running out of ideas i don't know is this uh, an homage to the alligator i don't know is this going to taste as good as the alligator because the alligator Oh my god, is one of the best whiskeys I've had, uh, period. Uh, so, is this going to live up to the hype? Is this a completely different animal? I guess we're about to find out. And as you can see, this is a brand new bottle which is about to get uncorked for your viewing pleasure. Da -da 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 -da. I like the wrapping, it's cool, huh? Check this out, this label is all burnt off and stuff. There's a, there's a dragon's tail at the end, on the back of the, the back of the bottle. Isle, a few of your own. Okay, let's see what it says on the back. For many moons, Isla folk have told tales of heroes and dragons, yet none matched the tale of Artbag's flavor-breathing dragon. Dwelling in Dunnage Warehouse 3, scorching staves and burning barrels. They say Artbeg scorches the mouth-watering product of its fiery temperament. Matured in our most heavily charred ex-bourbon casks. Fragrant patchouli interlaces with bold notes of quenched steel and saddle soap. Wow! Billowy clouds of sweet smoke and charred oak permeate the palate. As briar wood, sage and pine wisp their way to the fore. So puff out your chest and breathe out our fiery spirit. Listen, this is what I love about this distillery. They don't take themselves seriously. Yes, yes, they're part of LVMH, which is like this soulless conglomerate or whatever you want to call it. But at its core, the people at the distillery and the people that come up with ideas or concepts for their whiskeys, you know, they, they squarely have their tongue in, in their cheek. And that's what I love. You know, don't don't take yourself too seriously. At the end of the day, it's just whiskey. You know what I'm saying? Wow. And on the front it says, inspired by Dunnage Warehouse 3, definitely real and not made up flavor breathing dragon. This whiskey has been matured in our most heavily charred experiment casks. Blah blah blah. Same thing. Okay. I cannot wait. All natural color, no chill filtration, that's what we're talking about. Ooh, this is a lot of peat and a lot of smoke. 
definitely. I know my last video we uh, we did a we did a head to head I think with the Artbeck Supernovas. Um, I think it was the 10, 10 and the 19, and they were quite mellow compared to this. This is oh. So much char, so much suit. It's almost like it's almost like one of those sputtering diesel engines that you find in the back of a boat. That's that's kind of seen its days and it's never coming back. And there's that very industrial oiliness to this as well. Yeah. So definitely these casks are doing something massive. To the spirit because right now your first and only aroma that you're getting are, are this charred, sooty, tarry, diesel, engine, oil, you know. But then you let that dissipate and then you dig through and then you get the signature distillery flavors in the pineapple, in the citrus, in the vanilla. Oh, so much vanilla. And now cardboard. Sweets, hard boiled sweets. <sighs> dessert, you know, some type of, some type of not very sweet dessert. Maybe like a pudding, like a vanilla pudding. But this is, this is almost a quintessential art bag note. And it's almost, I want to say, Ah, uh, old school. And when I say old school, I don't mean like 70s and 80s. I mean old school for the new distillery. So I'm talking about the, the stuff that came out in the 2010s and no earlier, this 2006, 7, 8, 9, you know, around that time. That's the kind of, that's the kind of flavor profile or notes you would get from those whiskeys. And I'm kind of experiencing this today after a very long time. And I'm very happy about that, I'll be honest. <sighs> Do I like the nose? Fucking hell yes, I love the nose. It's a beautiful nose. It's everything that I love about the distillery. It ticks all the boxes. There's no odd, there's no like, you know, off notes. Um, Seems like it's wonderfully constructed. I mean, if this is the way to go, uh, then I think heavily charred costs and uh, bourbon barrels is the right option. Uh, Dr. Bill Lumsden, I hope you're watching this. If not, you really should be because that's what your people want. And when I say your people, I mean me. I could sit this, oh, you know, this reminds me of the Perpetuum. The Perpetuum was this sooty and charry. Do I have a bottle of that? I do have a bottle of that. I do have a bottle of the Perpetuum. Ta-da! There you go, it's all dusty. It even has a label on it still. You can see the dust. I love it. I love dusty old bottles. Makes me feel important. And uh, this is bottled at 49.2%. Should I open it and give it a swig? Okay, wait, let's 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 try the, the scorch first. Let's try the scorch first. Okay, so nose, we like uh, two thumbs up uh, and uh, we love uh, even more the, the tales of the fiery dragon that lives in Dunnage Warehouse number three and yes, all that good stuff, love it. Okay, the proof is in the pudding. Oh my God, this just took me back there. Me back to Isla. Oh. I'll be there next year. Okay, oh, by the way, open invitation. Anyone who's at the Isla Festival next year, uh, look me up on Instagram or YouTube or whatever it is, and we will hang out uh, at the battery right behind uh, Bowmore and we will have a few drinks and we will hang and we'll have a great time. Okay, cool. Okay, so uh, sorry, I don't want to delay this anymore. I think I'm kind of delaying it just myself because. I'm scared that it won't be that good and then it'll really let me down because I haven't been excited about a whiskey for such a long time and now I'm really excited about this. So, woo! 
I just hope it's good. Seems like it will be. Chin chin. Oh wow. That's crazy. Woo! So, oh, okay. Um, excellent mouthfeel. Lots of black pepper. Uh, lots of black pepper. Um, uh, burnt toast, you know. Uh, but with a sweetiness, uh, 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 a soft uh, lemon lime sweetiness with some vanilla in it. But then, boom, right at the end of, uh, right at the end of the palate, you get this big burst of um, licorice, like red licorice, or black licorice. Big burst of black licorice, and it goes down really smooth. Uh, I'm used to high strength whiskey, so 51.7% is uh, kinda in my range of uh, being palatable. So a nice, decent finish, a bit warming. I can still feel it in my chest, but dude, I love it. I really do. Um, I think it's quite a wonderfully constructed whiskey, in my opinion. Uh, it's quite fantastic. And it's not me being relieved that it tastes good. Uh, and so now I'm uh, putting it on a pedestal, but really, this is, if, you, if you're an Artbeg, you know, fanboy like me, then you crave those old school flavors. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, the earlier whiskeys after the distillery opened up. Uh, the 2008, 7, 9, 10 types. And it's reminding me of that. And oh my God. I'm really, really happy. Damn. Goes down really nicely. Uh, no gagging. Uh, I'm not the first person who's ever said that. Uh, but overall, wow. What could it have been? Uh, it could have been a touch more spicy, I think. I, I missed the peppers. I think it would have been nicer with a um, bit more peppers, but you know, that sweetness, it's perfectly in balance with the spiciness. And that's what a good whiskey should do. So yes, I know it's called the Scorch and they've got the whole fire breathing dragon business going around, but it's, I mean, on the nose, yeah, it's quite charry and sooty, uh, but on the palate, it's it's quite friendly, it's approachable. Uh, it still gives you that hint of char and smoke that you uh, got on the nose, but it's a, it's a pleasant drinker. You know what I'm saying? I would have loved this to be at 62, 63%. That would have been fun. That would have been real fun. Uh, but it's not, but that's fine. But then that would have become the Octomo, right? Hmm, that would have been interesting, but uh, happy the way this has turned out uh, and I think they kept the the ABV low So that you could so that would be an easy drinker because I think they could have easily bottled this at 55 56 percent and it would have Kicked it up quite a few notches uh, But then I think it might have become slightly imbalanced with a greater uh, Emphasis on spices and not so much on the sweetness, but I think with this ABV it balances it quite nicely you expect when you knows it you expect an onslaught of the smokiness the peatiness the charriness on your palate but ooh, it's nicely balanced uh, it's sweet as well it has that vanilla custard sweetness that I really like it has the pineapple it has a soft lemon meringue lemon meringue is the word I'm looking for along with the smokiness and the fruitiness and the charriness so wow i really really like it i love the nose uh i like the palette slightly less but i still like the palette is it a fantastic whiskey i think it's a fantastic whiskey um it's drinking really well um i was gonna add some water to it but i don't want to i don't think 51.7 percent deserves water uh you know anything over 56 57 58 percent we can think of water, but I think this is absolutely fine. Uh, it's not burning, it's not doing anything. I know, I know it's not about the burning, it's about adding water to really small flavors, blah, 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 blah. Uh, but I don't wanna do it. If you wanna do it, go ahead and do it. I'm having to enjoy this the way it is. Uh, more importantly, it's reminding me of the island 
and you know given the fact that this time last year oh shit no this time the year before last we were at the uh, you know uh, festival and you know all those you know you get those facebook memories they keep showing up and i'm getting those uh, pictures that is making me nostalgic for for the island so it's nice to be able to sit down with something like this that's uh, that's you know uh, transporting me back to my favorite place in the whole world uh, which is uh, which is you know right behind artbeg you have uh, you have a big uh, you have a big courtyard sort of thing overlooking the sea and then you have a little mound of grass uh, going right down into the rocks and uh, and on the right you see the art bag warehouse it's got art bag written on it uh, and that's that's me and my friends favorite spot in the whole world where we sit down with a dram with a cigar and uh, we talk about life and it's giving me that life moment so wow oh yes such perfectly recognizable signature flavors from this whiskey that I can't tell you how happy I am uh, and yes I am fan fan girling a little bit but that's okay uh, this is definitely worth it if you can get your hands on it uh, I have no idea what the festival bottle is going to be like I think it's going to be bottled at 46 percent I think that will be a bit of a disservice to this whiskey given that it tastes so well at 51.7% that I think dropping 4 or 5 percentage points is going to be detrimental to it. But hey, that's just conjecture on my part. Don't take my word for it. All I know is that I am finally really, really happy uh, with an art bag that's come out. And it came out with almost little or no fanfare, you know, thanks to uh, bloody COVID and all that. And it just came out and they just released it and it was fine. And there was no hype because, you know, uh, the world's a, world's a messed up place. Uh, and then suddenly to get this and and try it and discover that it's one of the best ones uh, that we've had in a long time. Uh, I think my last last good committee bottle from Art Deck was the Dark Cove, which I'm a huge fan of. But I think this is, this is probably in contention. You know, I think this is probably as good as the Dark Cove, if not slightly better. So, wow. I'm happy. I hope you're happy. We did this together. Uh, this is a great tasting whiskey. I hope you get your hands on it. And uh, what more can I say? This is this has been fun. So thank you. Thank you for joining me for this whiskey review. I'm the Malt Activist. Until next time. Peace.